Dearing friends, respected teachers, my name is Gyan Darshan. I am from Unit 10 NSS. We have seen many problems regarding the condition of the villagers and and the pathetic situation where they are facing. What we need to do, according to me, is the base base of development is something called trust development. Who are the stakeholders here? We are helping the villagers to develop their situation. We are the stakeholders, and the villagers are the stakeholders. But according to me, there is a lack of trust in the mind of villagers as well as the mind of the students present here. What we take NSS as? What is NSS? There is a need to understand the fact by the students. NSS is not something which we are, com we are compulsory, we are forced to do. It is something we are the fortunate ones. We are the chosen ones to do something. And it is not something which, are, which we are doing for the villagers. It is something which we are doing for ourselves. As mentioned by our professors in the very first day, that it is a sort of training for us. What we have learned here, we can use it in, use it in our future. Because we are the brighter minds of India, we are going to be the policy makers, we are going to run factories, we are going to run companies. If we don't know the root cause of the problem by seeing in the villagers, we can't change the situation. Because we, many of us have never been to a village, have never seen the problems there. So there is a need to change the mindset of us. Whereas I chose NSS, I am the fortunate that I got NSS, I think like that. So we will enjoy these seven days. I think that these seven days are very good days to learn, learn that. This is not something which is to be done for the villagers. And the workforce present here, now I am seeing a very huge force of students here. If we will work up uh, at least 50% of our strength to them, we will change the situation for all. And we will create an example to all of the countries that we have done that. We have changed the scenario. And on the part of the villagers, there are many schemes, there are many schemes and there are many things which are done by the government. But they are not being, the villagers are not being benefited by those schemes. What is the reason? Because they don't have trust on us, they don't have trust on the government and the, on the government. I would like to share an experience to us. I was doing... Uh, I, please, please, please go ahead. You don't want to... Okay. They are, they are for the welfare of the common people. For example, for the making of toilet, there is Nirmal Bharat Abhyan, for which there is a lot of subsidies are provided for making toilets. But uh, actually the fact is that that scheme is not implemented to the ground level. So as Gyan said that uh, there is some lack of trust and all that. So that can be filled by taking responsibility. What we can do is the NSS can become the sole implementer of this scheme in villages. That NSS people's, NSS volunteers will go to home, that they will discuss this scheme to the villagers, they will tell the villagers about this scheme, this is the scheme, now, with this they will benefit, and then they will, NSS will become the intermediate in implementing these basic schemes. Uh, for example, there are some scholarship exams we take, for example, Pedna scholarship, and there are, Pedna scholarship is somewhat done by NSS, and there are other government scholarships which NSS actually implements. So if NSS becomes an intermediate in implementing these government schemes, then there can be a thread of trust between villagers and other people. So, anybody else? Good evening everyone, my name is Aditya Bansal, I am from Unit 12. I would like to suggest that if there could be some kind of reservation from the mindless reservation for the board, board bank that already exists, from the villages itself, from suppose from each village here, we could have one person, one well-educated person who could be possibly be in the agricultural department as there is always there is some shortage of higher education 
as it has been put in the slides, then it would be beneficial because these people would be knowing more about the conditions here. And if you could provide them with agricultural knowledge, then it would be more beneficial than just running after jobs which people in our IITs generally do. That's a better thing to do just now, to reserve those who need it and those who would understand the condition instead of reserving for the board bank which our government do. No offense is meant, but this is happening soon. That's my suggestion. I'm from Unit 12. I have key four ideas after these slides, going through the slides. First one is like uh, we have uh, annual camp every year. Like this, we can have annual inter village, inter unit villages uh, tournament for sports talents and also for educational some uh, inter village uh, competitions. So that the winner uh, means we can uh, give scholarships or some prize money or uh, we can reserve a seat for that person in some educational institution for free uh, for his lifetime and by this we can nurture these uh, talents. And second idea we have, like uh, which uh, these slides did not cover, the cattle quantity in every house of every village. I think there's a lot of cattle in all these villages. So we can take the Google Class initiative uh, in spite of this, uh, from this cattle, in spite of uh, using the wood burning thing. The third thing I'll uh, uh, work upon is uh, yesterday and today, today also we had this, this uh, Nuka competition. So we can use this Nuka thing, even many of the many of them did with this uh, concept of toilet. So we can implement it uh, in our units also, because every unit did it. So we can do it uh, similarly in the villages. And today also I talked with one villager of here only, and they were too excited that today also there is uh, some performances left. So I think this will encourage them more. And the fourth one and the last one is uh, we can help online exams by keeping some computers and internet facilities so that they can get uh, scholarships, many national scholarships held in online like Macmillan and the international scholarships and uh, like iGenius is there so we can help that. Here yeah, at the group leader of Unit 10, I'd like to address two points. The first thing is about education. Uh, based on the data we saw from the graph, there is a lot of difference between the literate, the percentage of people who are literate and the percentage of people who have had formal schooling. What I'd suggest is that India is basically an agricultural country and many policymakers feel that it needs to be converted into an industrialist country. But in order to have an industrialist space, we also need to have agriculture. What I think is that there, uh, people need not have formal schooling. They need to know what is right for them and be able to take proper choices for themselves. So what I would like to suggest is that people from depart different departments in IIT can come over here and share their technical expertise with people here rather than trying for formal schooling. As an adult literacy, uh, people should be able to know English and basic Hindi communication and math and everything, but they also need to know a bit of agriculture, a bit of technology and everything. Uh, so if people have basic, basic uh, edu education here already, uh, I suggest that people who are working, like students in departments can come over here in the evenings and get, share their technical experience. That is a part of adult literacy. Second issue what I'd like to say is about what Jan has said here, about the workforce. NSS is the focal point between the villagers and the government. So if the workforce is not properly motivated, I don't think there can be anything done here. When we, when, this is my personal experience, when I have gone to the villages to do surveys, uh, I asked them, is there any suggestion you would like to give? What would you like us to do? They said that, har saal aate ho, har saal survey karte ho, lekin kya karte ho, kuch nahi karte ho, maare liye. That is what I would like to share. Mera naam Arvind Ji Vasta hai, mein NSS Unit 12 se hoon.
और एजुकेशन लेवल की आए वो कहाँ तक ना समझ पा रहे हैं यदि हम वो सब जान सकते हैं उसके बाद हम अपने प्रोग्राम को अच्छा कर सकते हैं तो इसलिए हमको उन सब चीजों को अपना करके अपने प्रोग्राम को और अच्छा करने का प्रयास करना चाहिए सिर्फ अकेले चलने से कुछ ज्यादा नहीं हो सकता है थैंक यू So uh, the very first day when we came to the NSS camp, uh, like NSS, uh, uh, we were introduced by the, via the slides and all. We were told that NSS has insufficient funds. So my question is, why do we not all write letters to the center? Why do we not start a letter campaign to the center to increase our funds?